Welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Oh my god. <laughs> Sun is coming up, vibe is going down. Fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting Might even do a little fortune too I'm talking LT Outdoors I hope you enjoy the show Special thank you to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com and look up LT Outdoors. From now on, I will be doing a monthly drawing giveaway as a thank you to all of you for all of your patronage. Alright, I don't mean to sound like a broken record because you guys are going to hear me talk about these every single year, but you know what? Every year I think it's kind of important to spotlight all of my favorite stuff anyways because I get new followers every year, I get new subscribers. And a lot of you, you know, might not go back and watch some of my oldest videos, so you might not see these things. But right here behind me, if you look just over my shoulder right there, um, those are actually ghost pipes. Those are a really cool little growth in the forest. Um, they are not considered a mushroom. They just, they actually uh, grow, they say that they grow out of really good soil. So basically, if you find ghost pipes, you know you're in an area with good quality soil. Um, they are really beautiful. Um, I always thought they to me they look like a flower um, they look like just a beautiful just a beautiful white flower they pretty much are um, I mean if you look inside you know they've got they can be pollinated I mean they're, they're pretty much a flower they're like a fungal flower <laughs> uh, but yeah there's I guess you can make tinctures out of them and stuff there is things ways you can use them I don't think here in Michigan we're allowed to use them though I really don't think so yeah so don't quote me on that but make sure you look it up first I think they're protected but um, if you do ever see some and you decide to pick one and smell it they do smell just like peanut butter which is really cool so uh, I, I don't think I'd eat one though but they are beautiful of course here I am out in the woods and I find a I always find these dumps and in them you know don't they're always fun to go through even if there is some like new age stuff there's always you, you'd be shocked you'd be shocked um this is a really cool looking bottle that's coming home with me um yeah i i don't even know what all that means it says snyder on the bottom but that's a pretty cool looking bottle Ugh, come out here to mushroom hunt and i end up picking bottles what it's always cool, good way to clean the forest and uh, gives you some neat things to bring home. Dirty up the woods. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's neat. Wow. Yeah, you just never know what you're gonna find out in the woods. Ooh, that looks like an oldie. Oh, of course it's broken. Shoot. Yep, dirt glass. That is an old one. It's a shame. One of my favorites, guys, that I haven't really shown in videos before. Uh, they usually, well, they don't usually, they never make it home. And that is the blackberry. I love blackberries. And I'll tell you what, guys, they are, once you get into them, I'm actually, I can tell I'm into a big pile right here. I could sit here all day long. All day long and eat these guys. And they sure are delicious. Some people worry about washing them. Not me. I enjoy them when I'm mushroom hunting. I'll sit out here. I'll just snack on raspberries and blackberries while I'm out wandering. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, this time of year, guys, today is... Uh, Honey, today's August 15th, so just so you know, August 15th here in northern Michigan, it's a good time to get out and look for blackberries. Now, to some people, this is going to seem a little gross, but I just want to use it as a teaching tool. 
A lot of people when they're walking in the woods or even in their yard, they, they've sent me pictures before and they think they've found bear scat, right? Um, I'm gonna show you right now what something looks like that is commonly not, you know, mistaken for bear scat that is definitely not bear. Okay, this right here, even though it's a big pile, that is deer, that is all that is. Um, all the deer scat around my house looks like that because they eat soybeans. Um, I'm guessing that it comes from having a um, you know messed up t stomach and it's probably from eating the berries. All right, everybody, today is actually pretty much the end of August. All right, we're getting into fall. We're getting into fall temperatures, which is wonderful for sleeping. And uh, it's getting nice. We're starting to get some rains finally, and it's getting better for mushrooms. This is still gonna be a tough mushroom season unless we start seeing more rain because it's been incredibly dry. But I'm out here walking through the woods, and I just wanna show you, I came across a patch of my favorite mushrooms that I picked this time of year. These are the black trumpets. Um, there's a, This is a pretty healthy patch. I come here every year around the same time trying to find these. Um, these are a really good mushroom to eat. They are excellent. Uh, you can cook them. I, I like them in a pasta. They're really good in a pasta. But fry them up or whatever. Pan fry them, saute them, and throw them in pasta. Or you can just cook them in the pasta. But um, There's not as many here as there usually is. Like I said, it's been awfully dry. But... I am gonna take my time walking around because I do see they are up. A lot of these look like they're just starting to come up. So I think it's, uh, I think more than anything, it's just starting. This right here is what they look like. They're just a beautiful, beautiful mushroom. And they are delicious. They're really good to eat. I see there's a, hopefully you can see it. There's a really beautiful looking patch up there I'll probably take a photo of. But yeah, I got a feeling too, if they are out, then the chanterelles will be too. And probably some hedgehogs and, and other stuff. So I'm gonna get out, do some searching guys, see what I can find and uh, try to show you some mushrooms. Hope you enjoy. All right, I have to get on my hands and knees to get right down close to these to show you. That's a pretty patch I just took a nice photo of, but just kind of pinch them off. They're, they're real easy to break. But you can see why they call them a black trumpet. They, they look just like a trumpet. Um, and they're nice and clean. The only time they get dirty is if you have a heavy rain and you're in sandy soil. Um, the sand will get kicked up by the rain and uh, kind of thrown into the trumpet. But they're still pretty easy to clean off. And usually if I get into some real bad ones, I just won't pick them. There's always good ones up the way. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take my time. I don't think I'm gonna find a ton of these. So I'm not gonna spend too much time here. I'll probably wander the trails some more and see what else we can find. All right, I'll tell you, I've been walking a lot further than I normally would to find mushrooms. Usually this time of year, they are everywhere and in abundance of species too, but it's just been so dry and ridiculous this year. But I did come across another species just now. Um, that's the lobster mushroom. I actually came across, the first one I found here was, uh, it's been chewed up real bad. Looks really good on the back side, but on the front side, the bugs and stuff have been got, got to it, maybe mice, but that is what a lobster mushroom looks like, folks. The lobster itself is something that actually takes over the mushroom, and the, it, the mushroom is not actually a lobster um, species. It, what it is, it's, a lot of times it's russulas and other species. They're always edible, so you won't find a lobster taking over. It's like a parasite. You won't find it taking over, though, on a... Uh, a bad species of mushroom so it's cool because russellas you know a lot of them are edible but they taste bad they just have bland flavor but you add a little bit of lobster taste in there and they're pretty good but yep i see that we got one right here growing that one's actually in great shape i'm going to cut it off with a knife i don't like to rip these they are a real dirty mushroom a lot of times they get a lot because they come up from the ground just cupped and they get so much dirt stuffed in them uh, but that's okay i'll i'll spend my time cleaning them um, I didn't even see this. Actually, look at this, guys. That one popped right off, but look at that. There's more around. Usually when you do find one, there's more. They like to grow off the same 
uh, soil types and stuff. So yeah, you're gonna find a bunch in one area, but that's pretty cool. They, they do have kind of a seafood type taste to them. So I like to chop these up. And again, I make like a, if I'll make a shrimp Alfredo or something and I'll chop these up and throw them in really good. So yeah, I'm gonna cut these up here and uh, probably hike along on this ridge line, see if I can find some more. If you do notice, guys, pay attention to the trees when I'm out. I don't, I don't mention trees. I, sh I really shouldn't have to. Um, it, it, just look in my videos. You'll see it's it's hardwoods, okay? If you're out looking in the pines and stuff, a lot of times you're just going to find the bleats. I don't like bleats, all right? To me, they're mushy. I just I don't like the mush or uh, marshmallow texture to them. But, you know, you go in the hardwoods, that's where you find a lot of these really good tasting mushrooms this time of year and your chanterelles and all that's going to be in hardwoods so yeah get out there on the hardwoods i like to walk ridges they seem to grow well on ridges so yeah keep looking see what we find just came across one of my favorite little little tree or little, <laughs> little wood dwellers <laughs> it's just a baby <laughs> oh just a little bugger little common toad I sure love toads they're great and no they don't give you warts that's an old wife's tale <laughs> not only do I know what this is because I clean skulls it's actually pretty well preserved so I'm gonna take it home I'll just clean it up a little bit more with a brush but that is a porcupine skull there's actually a pile of quills right here That's what the porcupine's quills look like. Probably can't tell, but there's a barb at the end of that. They stick in there pretty good. But yeah, porcupine died here. Probably got killed and thrown out here, I'd imagine. White wire sticking out of the ground. Yeah. Okay, that's hooked to the trap. He's... I can see him. Yeah, this won't be so bad. Whoa. I'm glad you think that. <laughs> You're just a little baby. It's okay. There you go. There you go. Your foot will hurt for a little bit, but you'll be all right. Yeah. Your foot will hurt just for a little bit, but you'll be okay. <laughs> Become part of Team LT Outdoors. It's easy. All you got to do is go to Etsy.com, type in LT Outdoors. And you can go to the LT Outdoors store. I have so much stuff in there in stock right now, guys. Lots of really cool hats, really cool shirts, and I am making new designs almost every single day. So make sure you stop in there, check out LT Outdoors at Etsy.com, and check out what I got in there. Also, you can become a patron. Go to Patreon.com, and you can put in your monthly support for LT Outdoors to help me with all my travels and everything else that it takes for me to get out and do what I do. And uh, last but not least, if you guys would like a free decal, I pay for these, but I send them out for free for you guys because I love to have you guys driving around with these on your vehicles. Email me, ltoutdoors15 at yahoo.com, and I will send these out for free. LT Outdoors is brought to you by RBM Jigs and Lake Effect Lure Co. Time to join the rattle revolution. Check out the new Feisty Fry and Ned Head Jigs. Far Out Foods, seasonings that are out of this world. Wellman's Party and Bait in Oscoda, Michigan. They got all the tackles shown on this show as well as LT merchandise. Sport Spec. Magnify your outdoor experience. Mountable Memories Taxidermy. Mounting memories to last a lifetime. An Elk Town Tackle. Michigan made crawler harnesses, perch rigs, and more. Go to oldminnowboy.com. Check out the new Rattle Rat Topwater Bait. Use discount code LT Outdoors Gets you 15% off. Fuck you, bitch!